Welcome back. Magda Lynette gets it done in straight sets. 6-3, six, 6-4 six, over Petra Martic. Saved all three break points she faced. Won 75% of her points on serve. And Magda joins us now on our FanDuel desk. Congratulations. Great to see you, Magda. Well done out there today. Thank you. I think it's my second time here. Yes, it is. Uh, it must feel good to get back in the win column. Yeah, it's so nice. I mean, I haven't win the match for quite some time so it's a right it's a nice feeling <laughs> <laughs> what, what worked best for you out there today uh, I feel I served really well and uh, I felt that that really helped me during my service games that I never gave her really an easy way to break me or be really close of breaking me I, I played really solid on those games so I felt that that really translated to her service games I, she had quite a lot of pressure because she felt it's gonna be really hard to break myself you, you say it's been a while since since you've had a win. So in those last I forgot moments, how that feels. <laughs> <laughs> to, to close it out, though, was it was it, were there extra nerves there at the end? Well, not so much because uh, I felt like I've had it quite like close at Indian Wells. Yeah. Then I had it quite close in Miami, and then I was nervous. So I felt like I was there if I lose. So again, it's gonna be again. I felt actually quite relaxed about it, and I was serving really well. So I trusted my serve. That's gonna help me today. So many three setters that you've had recently. I think it's seven or something in a row this year. So. Yeah, but that also gives me a feeling that I'm so close and I'm playing well. I feel in practices I'm playing really well and three setters against tough opponents that feel it's a little bit mental and confidence. So I feel like it's one, two matches that's going to go my way. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to play good tennis. And, and you showed it out there today with the straight set win. What's the transition like for you going from the hard courts here to the green clay? I really like it. I feel like it's quite easy. It's it never it's never been for me as easy to translate it on clay courts, but for some reason I think green clay is a little bit faster. It's easier movement because it's a little bit I feel like it's a little bit straighter the clay. So um, yeah, I've been enjoying. I've been playing really well here. So I and I, I mean love coming back to Charleston as everybody. <laughs> so additionally, when you have that great feeling about the place, about the tournament tournament around around the people you kind of feel better and more confident and you just feel great yeah you've made the quarterfinals here a couple of years ago what, what do you like most about charleston food okay food <laughs> people uh, i mean organization the tournament people are just unbelievable and i think that's so much what makes this tournament like really stand out in the, on a tour um and obviously the city, it's really nice. The, the whole tournament is organized so well. So, I mean, congratulations to, to Bob, to everybody, to sponsors, because it's it's really great. Yeah, they, they do an amazing job here in Charleston. Well, one thing that stands out about you is, is your positivity. And, oh, and is it? On, on I'm not sure media, my coaches would agree. Really? On social media, you, you were such a positive <laughs> spirit, so much inspiration from you. Talking about last year, you know, in September in China, when you, when you finished runner-up, it's not always about winning, and, and it's those moments that maybe when you lose that defines your character. Tell me more about that. Um, I, I'm really proud of my sense of humor. I think, again, my coaches would disagree, but uh, I feel um, oftentimes, uh, I actually can get done really easy. So I think um, sense of humor is something that it's a little bit helping me. Um, and I hope that it also helps me kind of fight, you know, to get that external also a little bit hate when you get it sometimes after the matches. So that's, I think, the way I try to cope with it. And um, it takes a, lo a lot of energy for me, at least, because it doesn't come to me na to me naturally. But I feel it's really a lot of work and a lot of work in progress. <laughs> well, you, you've talked about being kinder to yourself and that no, no matter what, you're a wonderful person. And that there, there was a photo of you as a kid on your birthday and, and the advice that you would give to yourself now, what was that? Yeah, I mean, I think first first thing, and I try really to tell it to myself, not to judge myself based on my results, like separate those two people, because I don't. Uh, when I lose, you know, when I, I have this streak of seven losses, I feel worse as a person. I want to hide somewhere in a locker room, you know, like I'm like, you guys don't want my autograph, I'm not that good, and really, um, fighting that and just trying to, you know, stay like, no, like one thing, what's happening on a court, but you do something else outside of the tennis court. It's it's really hard. And um, I need a lot of help, a ton of help from people around because it doesn't come naturally to me again. I'm going to say that. Um, but yeah, I encourage everybody to, to try because um, it's, it's really tough. It's really tough. I really admire people that have that 
naturally like i don't know like ali risk is like the nicest person in the world and i have no idea how she does that <laughs> a, a lot of positivity and, yeah. and who knows you never know what anybody is going through yeah. at, at any moment magda i mean you wrote never put yourself in second place ignore the opinions of others that you don't care about now you did talk about the people that do help you that you do care about who are those people well definitely my team my family uh, i'm really close with both of them. Then my friends. I, I, I'm really selective with my friends. Uh, I, I just have a very small group of them, but I get really close with them. So, um, yeah, I, I tend to keep everything in a very close and small circle, and I open up quite slowly. Um, but I really feel um, I really depend on their mood and their advice and their word. Like, I feel that resemblance my... Um, well-being next day so wherever they are i'm gonna be next day so it's very hard to be my own person sometimes and i feel like i, I really need a lot of help from them to you know sometimes lead me and uh, show me a little bit other side of things keep, keep that circle tight i, I like <laughs> that uh you've got diana yastremska next uh what do, what do you think of that matchup it's gonna be tough she she has always been such a dangerous player because she is so powerful she has such a nice technique to that so um I will have to be just very patient and smart. I played a couple times against her, never once, so I have really nothing to lose and I'm playing well as well. Um, and I still have one more match under my belt here on clay, so I'm gonna take some confidence in that. Um, but definitely she's playing really well this year. She showed in Australia and, uh, and I know it's gonna be a tough match, but I watched her a couple times, so I'm ready. All right. Well, congratulations on the win today. Thank it's so you. so good to see you again, Magda. You guys should invite me more often. Hey, if I would win, maybe. When, when, when you, <laughs> I'm guilty After myself. the next match you win, you're welcome back. Okay, deal. Magda Lynette getting the win today. First match on the stadium court.